Uh, South Sudan, obviously a fantastic place to be right now if you're looking for growth prospects. And of course, now that the political scenarios are changing as well, it's, it's caught the attention of many uh, industries as well. You do have operations at this point in time in South Sudan. Uh, news has it that you're planning to open two more branches this month. Yeah, that's true. We initially had uh, four branches and during the referendum period we were busy putting up two additional branches because we felt the opportunity to support the development of uh, Southern Sudan was real. Uh, Mr. Mwangi, also looking at the fact that uh, South Sudan contributed 5% to your profits last year, you are expecting this to double into 2011. It's all about expansion into the country. Tell us a little bit more how, on how you plan to do this and how you plan to strategically place yourself. Yeah, Southern Sudan has uh, uh, 10 states. We have uh, principally been two states and we are now seeing if uh, it forms into a new country it requires to be supported into the 10 components that make uh, the new uh, country. So we see ourselves opening an additional uh, six branches mm -hmm. in the course of the next uh, year uh, so as to support uh, the country in a, a holistic manner. Well, you ventured into South Sudan in 2008. The first time that you saw a return on your, uh, your money is uh, last year. You saw 130 million uh, shillings coming to the fore, $1.6 million. How do you plan to fund the expansion uh, into the rest of the region? Uh, we are willing to, uh, to increase the capital base of the bank through additional injection. And uh, at the same time, uh, we have opted uh, for retention uh, of uh, the profits through retained earnings. Uh, Mr. Mwangi, also the fact that you're looking at a population of around 12 million or so, uh, not many have bank accounts. It's been interesting because you have been operating on the lower end of the market, but when you're headed into South Sudan and to Sudan as a whole, you've had to change uh, your uh, strategies. Uh, tell us about how you equip yourselves uh, to ensure that you do meet the requirements of the people on the ground. Thank you. We have focused uh, again on a business model that will be able to build uh, on uh, the level of incomes that are prevalent in southern Sudan. But more importantly, one of the additional components is capacity building in the people in decision making in financial literacy. So we'll be rolling a complementing uh, program uh, on uh, spreading out and training on financial literacy. At the same time, we are working with the NGOs that uh, are on the ground building capacity in different aspects, either in agriculture, either in SME, such that uh, there is uh, that effort of building capacity on the people that we intend to bank. Mm. Uh, Mr. Mwangi, what is your target uh, for 2011? I mean, how many people do you have on your books right now in South Sudan, and what are you targeting for this year? We have uh, 30,000 uh, customers and we hope that uh, during the year we'll be able to increase that to about 80,000 uh, customers. The focus will be on uh, the micro and small enterprises. We are looking at uh, the development of agriculture, looking at small scale commercial farmers. At the same time, uh, the individual uh, Southern Sudanese encouraging them uh, on the importance of saving. Uh, and also the fact that the currency has also come uh, you know, under the spotlight at this point. It seems that North Sudan could drop the Sudanese pound as its currency as well. Uh, what, do you, uh, what are your thoughts on this and how do you think it's going to Im uh, implicate or affect uh, the operations in the region? Uh, I think uh, one of the areas that uh, one needs to look at the region is the a wider scope, what is happening on uh, the East African community which provides uh, uh, the neighborhood and uh, of course the formation of a new state in Southern Sudan. When you look at all that coming into interplay, uh, there will be significant uh, increase in opportunities and we believe that the business environment will be shaped uh, substantially by the opportunities being generated by the larger market.